folks welcome to 54 nights we are taking a look at the uh, Flagstaff Microlite 25 BRDS um, 26 foot camper um, unloaded vehicle weight of 5500 pounds cargo capacity 1500 so add the two together that's about what your gross vehicle weight is 800 pound hitch weight freshwater tank 54 gallon black 30 gray 30 kind of a smallish gray tank but it's a 26 foot camper what do you expect 18 foot awning on it uh, exterior height 10 foot 11 it's a bumper pull trailer looks like it's got the electric tongue jack on it that is storage underneath the couch inside and what they're wanting 39,000 for it at the RV show a little outdoor kitchen area with not much of a kitchen area it's really just the stovetop and a refrigerator there's not a sink there but a bucket and a four-year-old works just as well <laughs> The more ride steps on them, people are using those a lot lately. I like them; they're a lot sturdier than those than the older steps. This is a bunk model. And apparently, I'm fascinated by the bunk. <laughs> um, You know, you can take those bunks and convert them into whatever you want to if you don't want to use them as bunks. Uh, and this one has a Murphy bed and it has a jackknife sofa in it. I don't know that you'd want to have somebody sleeping on the jackknife sofa and have the Murphy <laughs> bed down. But yeah. the option is available to you <laughs> if you don't want to put the Murphy bed down. You might not like one of the people. Well, if I don't like them, I'm not taking them camping with me. How about that? <laughs> armrest there it's actually pretty handy now let's get to the big show here not the girl trying to work this thing <laughs> but the actual Murphy bed <laughs> like the trying to work it because it's actually <laughs> easier to work than what she's showing. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing, okay? <laughs> you know, if it was anybody else, I would have taken this out of the video. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're such a jerk. <laughs> Here it comes, the Murphy bed. <laughs> See, now if the guy's sleeping down below, that's. Yeah, yeah, I mean, kind of a tight spot, spot for him. It is a couple. No, I like not. it's got the window right there. Yeah, but what I don't like is when you're sitting on the couch, you have no window. But yeah. I mean, I, I you know, yeah. what can you yeah. do? But yeah, you got the window to the side of you, I mm -hmm. suppose. Kind Little of. small, smallish windows on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I. I guess it's not made to spend too much time inside, though. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll buy that. Little pantry area right there beside the dinette. It doesn't have to be a pantry it's area. Deep. I'm sorry. I'm telling you what to do with the storage. <laughs> uh, that carpet is supposed to be like pet friendly, but it's carpet and it's in a camper. I'm not worried about the pets. I'm worried about the toddlers. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of storage underneath that dinette there. Um, this one has an oven and a stove top so we're going to get the normal microwave oven up there and a smallish tv which it's a smallish camper escape route for your kids in the bunks and this one has a toddler rinsing station <laughs> is, that, is that the official name of it well it's the tub Oh. It's got one of those small tubs in it. Yes. So. Toddler, I'd be sitting in that tub. Uh, yeah, I know you would. <laughs> yeah, and there goes the camera trying to focus in on the big white spot.
if you are a large individual you might find it a little bit uncomfortable to maneuver around in this bathroom um, but it's a small camper so I mean you know can't really you know, talk bad about it you want a larger camper in a bunk model you probably have to, or larger bathroom in a bunk model you probably have to go a few feet larger what are these stickers that say control your RV with oh man being... they're all smart this is a smart camper <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> like how you say that in your best country accent it's a smart camper <laughs> all the campers nowadays have got are set up in ways uh, 32 inch tv that's not too mm -hmm. bad and it um, tilts i like that for you know they're terms. set up in ways that you can control certain aspects of them through your phone some of them you can even put the awning out with your phone a little ladder up the back of the camper i like ladders on campers makes it much more convenient to clean them up you know get up on top and clean up the tree sap or whatever mm -hmm. um it's a nice little camper for a short guy. I mean, it really, the the Murphy bed looked like it was comfortable. I like I mean, how the slide outs are coming way out now to give yeah, you more floor space. It is a large, deep slide out mm -hmm. where the entire dinette pulls up out of the way. It's nice. If you've never had a camper with the slide out, you, uh, you're, you're missing out. It makes all the difference in it the world. It does. Especially if you have kids or dogs. And like I started to mention earlier, the bunk models, you know, take a look at them even if you don't want bunk beds because there are other things you can do with the bunk areas. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, there, there's that large access door into that bunk area, so you could use it as storage for all your outdoor stuff, your grills and, you know, everything that you need outside. You pull those bunks out. Mm -hmm. you know, they don't have to stay in there. There's not like a federal law telling you that you have to keep this thing like it was when you drove it off the lot. You put a dog crate in there. You know, kennel, dog kennel. Mm -hmm. um, even an, like a, if you work on the road, even a little office area, mm -hmm. you can get you a cheap little Ikea desk and put it back there. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, you think about making it a little room. Yeah, just a lot of options with the bunk models. So, don't write them off if you go into them because you don't have, you know, 14 kids like some people. And consider what you could do with that space mm -hmm. and to make the camper your own. Anyway, I hope this little, just short little video walkthrough is helpful in your shopping adventure because, you know, it's probably the only reason you're watching this is because you're looking around at campers. So. My computer just told me the video's over. <laughs> hey, we'll catch y'all down the trail. See you later.